Hi Capricorn, welcome, happy holidays. I'm so excited to join you for a reading. I'm Wendy Irene. You can find my work at givelovecreatehappiness.com or links to it at wendyirene.com. I'd love for you to join me if you feel called to. So we're gonna start the reading by playing the sound bowl to cleanse your energy and give you a few minutes of quiet meditation while I shuffle and pull all the cards. I feel like that helps us connect energetically I don't I think like when you talk about the spirit realm like time is not an issue like it is on earth so you taking those few minutes even more importantly helps you connect to the divine within you and that is what I would my greatest hope is to help be a bridge to you connecting that within yourself that's way more important than anything I could possibly say or any card you don't need cards or anything like that to connect to your higher self they're just fun um, so I would love for you to take those few minutes if you can. If not, you can fast forward and know that, you know, I'm here for you, supporting you energetically. Be sure to check out your other signs like your moon rising in Venus if you're feeling called to. There are times where I feel even more drawn to my moon sign, for example, than my sun sign. So just listen to that within yourself. Okay, so go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> And a big exhale, even making noise on the way out, because that's very cleansing, opens up your throat chakra. Blow out like you're blowing out candles. <sighs> Let your shoulders drop on the exhale, and imagine everything that you're carrying like a cloak falling to the ground, allowing Mother Earth to take all that energy and renew it to something beautiful. Let go of everything as best you can. Let your mind be still. <coughs> Excuse me. With each breath feeling more and more and more relaxed, connecting to that peace and joy within you.
Okay, my beautiful Capricorn. The first card that came out is the Prey card. And what I was actually seeing when this came out is journaling. And the idea that sometimes prayer can be in the form of journaling. Like you could write your journal entry to God or the universe or your higher self, whatever you feel comfortable calling it. Like, and then write what you're grateful for and write what you want help with. Um, sometimes the act of writing it out is extremely powerful. And in doing so, you can be 100% honest and it really gets everything out of you. It helps you get everything that's worrying you that you want to speak to God about, anything that's, you know, bothering you or things, also things that you're really happy about and feel really grateful about. I think it's just as important to say thank you for this. Like, thank you for this day at home to be cozy or whatever it is. Um, I would really put both in there. And you can also speak prayer, but I, and there are, and that is very powerful too, but for some reason, like what I'm really seeing visually is you journaling a prayer or writing a prayer. I feel like this is going to be very helpful to you um, and very powerful for you. You also have the release and relax card. So I think a lot of us are maybe pushing too hard this time of year right now. And we're really being asked to take some time to release and relax. Like, you know, ideally, like the holidays wouldn't be so stressful. It would be this joyful time to just pull back from everything. Be at, you know, get to spend time being cozy and, and really reflecting and relaxing and releasing everything from the year so that you go into the new year with a fresh start. The card says... You were born to be passionate and nothing can change that. However, this card reminds you to focus on channeling your emotions and opinions in positive and constructive ways for the sake of peace. The angels ask you to find a creative and beneficial release for your emotions so you can move on freely. For example, you can channel anger into artistic projects or volunteering for activist work. Ask the angels to help you express yourself in healthful, beneficial ways. Make sure you're always fair to yourself, but be fair to those around you as well. Uh, but I'm also seeing like this self-care time. I think Oprah calls it the joy of missing out. Don't be afraid to say no to things when you're feeling like everything is too much and just spend time doing something that makes you happy, that makes you feel relaxed, that helps you release and feel really good, not in the pushing too hard sense. So um, things that are just like restful to your mind and soul and feel peaceful, you might wanna listen to some quiet classical music and uh, do some journaling in the form of prayer. I feel like those things would be very beneficial for you Capricorn right now. You also have the consult a nutritionist card that came out and I can't believe that it took me till this reading for to have the aha moment but this kind of thing has been coming up through a lot of the readings and I'm like of course this time of year is a time of year where we tend to get out of balance because a lot of times there's just a lot of treats all around us and everything and there's nothing wrong with um enjoying your life and enjoying some things but uh, you still want to be able to maintain your health or you're in that balance so that your mood is higher and that you feel better because everything that you're going through is the more clear of a channel you can be, the more clear of a receptor you can be, the better everything else in your life is gonna go and the more that you're actually going to enjoy the holidays. So make sure you're drinking small glasses of water throughout the day. Like think of it as cleansing to you and helping you if you were like, a battery like charge your battery so that you can be a clear receptor the card itself says um, I turn my eating over to you and ask you to guide me to foods and beverages that taste good are fulfilling and support my ideal health and weight so one of the things that I learned from Sonia Choquette is the idea of asking yourself is this good for me right now um, right now, where you're at right now today in this moment, is this good for me right now? Do I feel like this is good? And you might say yes, because you might feel like um, 
But you might say no. But the thing is, if you ask yourself, you're making a conscious choice. So even if you're feeling like it's a no, it's not good for me right now. I mean, it's not, you can, you still have free will. You can still choose to have whatever it is, but you're being really conscious. And I feel like the more that you do that, the more in balance you'll bring yourself more of the time. And like it says, you can ask to be guided to foods that are fulfilling and feel good and taste good, but also contribute to your health. So there is that, uh, you know, ask for that help with being able to enjoy and take care of your health. Okay, so the next cards that came out are love, you're a leader, and speak the truth. First and foremost, the love card is about there being divine love around you. Like this bright white light, golden light, this divine love that's all around you. Capricorn, you are a leader. I know that so many of you are like, my daughter is a Capricorn and she definitely has that energy. And I feel that with a lot of you too, where you're leading by example. And you know, so often like you're working so hard and you're being really responsible, but don't forget that also take time to release and relax, okay? Because you don't have to push yourself so hard, but speak your truth. Like you're a leader and speak your truth is that the world needs to hear what you have to say. It isn't about other people agreeing with how you see things or your opinion, it's that you speak your truth, the right people will find you. And that's what you really want, okay? Because when you're living authentically, not everybody's gonna be drawn to that. And that's okay, that's a beautiful thing because it allows the right people for you to be drawn to you. And there are people that are looking up to you that need to hear how, how you see things. It's a beautiful gift to the world for you to speak your truth and be a leader also would speak your truth. I'm feeling the throat chakra, so go ahead and sing loudly. You know, if you don't like singing in front of people, sing loudly at home to a couple of songs when you're by yourself, like let your throat chakra open up, let that creativity flow through you. Or even when we were talking at the beginning about taking a deep breath, <sighs> like making a noise like that, louder the better, let your throat chakra open, let yourself speak up. So if you feel like you've been holding things that you're feeling in and not speaking them, this is your message to speak the truth, okay? If there's something that, you know, maybe you're not speaking because you're trying to avoid any conflict, you're being asked to speak up and know that you're a leader and know that, you, um, that you're meant to be seen. The world is meant to see you here and that there's love for you. And that the right people will love you speaking your truth, being who you truly are. And that's who you want there, right? Okay, so in this cross that I pulled, I have the seven of air at the top. I have the lovers at the bottom. To the left, I have the nine of air. To the right, I have renewal. And in the very center, balance, um, which is this repeating theme for this reading, is that finding this balance, finding this balance of also having time to relax, not just working so hard. <clears throat> and even if you're a stay-at-home mom, you can still be working too hard. You can still, there's never-ending stuff to be done. So taking time for releasing and relaxing, journaling, praying, um, balance in terms of nutrition, like enjoying, but also really taking care of yourself. You also have the lovers on it, so I'm feeling this this need for balance within a love situation as well or in a situation that's very close to your heart there may be a decision that you're trying to make you might be weighing a decision of some kind um but you know go ahead and take your time and like really revise any plans that you might be making with that seven of air here okay because it could be that there's more going on than meets the eye, or it could be that there's divine timing that's needed because sometimes if we, if we force something that's not divine timing, we, we block what our highest good is. So sometimes things are not working exactly how we thought because there's something better. And that is so true. And the hardest part about being in that is that you can't see it yet but you have to have this faith and trust. And this is where the praying is going to really help in the journaling. And the nine of air is sometimes like, be aware of when you're expecting the worst, okay? Because like, or if you're not getting enough sleep, balance in your sleep, I'm hearing that too. So you really wanna be getting enough sleep. 
that goes hand in hand with the resting and relaxing and releasing. Um, that's when that's your body's time to heal. That's when, and ideally, we don't eat right before bed so that our body can work on healing instead of digesting. So catch yourself if you're expecting the worst, okay? And it's okay, like, it's okay. Acknowledge how you feel. Don't pretend that you don't feel that way. It's like letting the garbage out. So go ahead and write it down or say it. But then after you let that out, say what you would love. What is it that you would love to happen? So it isn't about shaming yourself or being down on yourself because you have negative thoughts or you're worried about things. It's about letting that garbage out and then saying, what is it that I would love? I would love for this to be the way it is. I would love for this to happen. I would love, and a lot of times that has to do with feelings. You wanna feel loved. You wanna feel in balance. You wanna feel joy. So remember that that it's those feelings and then I'll let yourself imagine them and feel them because really it's you feeling that energy that draws it in and and try to expect miracles and expect great things okay the renewal card is more about reviewing and evaluating and that makes so much sense for the end of this year it's like what do you what would you love for next year what would you love next year to look like what are those feelings that you want to feel and you can always say this or something better. So some of you will be moving in a new direction. And, and this time of releasing and relaxing and reviewing and looking over things more carefully and, and understanding uh, good timing is very important here. With the lover's card, it's, it's about a relationship or relationships. But I, like I said, I feel like you're kind of weighing a decision. You're wanting to feel balanced, balanced in love. And that, you know, whether that's balancing and giving between both people, you know, balancing, there's so many areas that but it's gonna be individual for each one of you, but your main energy and your main focus right now is this balance in all these areas, including love, including food, including rest, taking time to pray, also speaking up, being seen and being heard, um, letting people see the authentic you. Every time something feels out of balance, I really want you to take some very deep breaths and do what I just said. <sighs> and then pray, ask to, for help and guidance to being brought back into balance, including that joy and that peace within you that is your divine right. Capricorn, happy holidays. I am sending you so much love. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more readings. And thank you so much for the likes and sharing and leaving me comments and letting me know how this resonates for you. It really means a lot to me to hear from you. And this time is really special to me. So thank you for connecting with me energetically here. I will see you again soon. Bye.